I'm gonna channel the legendary Christopher Frost for this, and we're gonna do an unboxing like this, and we're looking at the new Fuji X-Pro3. I upgraded mainly because I was bored. Uh, the X-Pro2 is and will always be a legendary camera, but I just wanted to change it up and try something different. I wasn't fully blown away by the X-Pro3, you know, in specs and hearing about it and some of my friends, so I decided, why not? Let's open it up, test it out, let's get it and go from there. So just opening here, it looks like we have some kind of a cloth case, not a microfiber uh, like cloth just for the camera, but probably something to hold the camera which isn't what I've seen before. Actually, this is just a huge piece of cloth right here. And I guess that's because they say it gets um, dirty very easily. So uh, we'll have that aside for that. I did order the Dura Black Edition because it's essentially graphite and that looks sick. And I didn't get that on the uh, X-Pro2. So we have the legendary uh, manual that no one's gonna pretty much read. The warning about Canada registering your product. Probably some le just literature on Capture One. They have specific like Fuji, Sony, etc. Probably some warranty information here. And then the big boy right here. Now the one thing I didn't see online and I hope it comes with is a battery charger. Cause if not, that's gonna be lame. So we obviously have the big boy right here in all of its glory. Starting off, we have a uh, one of those straps that I'm not gonna use cause I use a Hyperion strap. We have a charger right here, which should be, this is actually USB-C, which is interesting. We have the tool to help put on uh, straps onto the camera, just to make it a little bit easier. So you attach these uh, little wings as well. And the last thing I'm seeing in here is the battery and no actual battery charger, which is a bunch of BS once you pay around $2,000 for this camera. But let's dive into the camera. And that's, that's very disappointing, Fuji, because Kind of screw you on that one. We're diving in. This is the first time I'm actually gonna get my hands on the X Pro 3. So here it is right here. Oh, look at this. I don't even wanna like fingerprint it at all. Woo, does this look gunmetal and, and sexy though? It sure does to me in my opinion. Let's get a little bit of a shutter on that bad boy right here. That's looking pretty nice right there. I really like the color of this. I mean, and it feels, you know, about the same as the X-Pro2, honestly. See, it's the X-Pro3. And the big controversial flip screen, which I must say flips pretty easily. It's a little wonky and tight, though. I will probably mainly have it down like this, though, as I mainly use the LCD to shoot. It is a little clunky, but, you know, so be it. I wish it was a little bit looser. You know, in the back screen right here, I, I don't know if I'm going to really use it that much. I'm just gonna keep it on its basic settings. I don't really care about the film simulation type of stuff. The uh, joystick, good, responsive, pretty clicky. And the top is pretty much what I'm familiar with as well. You can move it around up here, lift it up to change your ISO, on and off. I usually have a little uh, thumb uh, shutter attachment right here. I'm glad that they kept this button here because that's how I like to uh, record video when I use this. Even though I rarely do it, it's just a great place to have a function button. But I do see what people mean by this titanium getting pretty crusty already quickly. I've barely already used it and there's just marks on it, but man, if you just keep it clean, that's fine. All right, so I'll just take the cleaning cloth thing here, clean it off. And uh, man, it's actually not, it's pretty dirty. Okay, well, that's whatever. This thing really does track fingerprints horribly. It looks disgusting already. I'm, I'm like not exaggerating. It's kind of weird, but I'll get an actual cloth. That cloth that it comes with is kind of garbage. It doesn't do anything. So, I mean, I'll actually do a review. It feels like the X-Pro2. I like the look of it, but holy shiza does it really get dirty quickly. And you go from there, but you still get your two card slots over here, which is nice. And we'll just kind of go from there. But the X-Pro3 kind of confirms that I'm not totally 100% sold on it, but I can't wait to actually take images. This is just the unboxing, the first impressions. The first impressions are what I thought. It's meh, something that they really shouldn't have done in my opinion, but I'm excited to actually get out and shoot with it over the next month or so, then I'll do a review. But this is the dirty ass X-Pro3. Oh my God.